Alright, so this is a Panasonic inverter. Alright, so the thing with this inverter, right, is that um these Panasonic inverter it comes with a circuit board. Huh? Right? A nice circuit board right here. Let me see if I get some light. Right, so that circuit board right here. Uh, the thing with them circuit board is that um, it does burn out. Some just catch a fire. Some is burn out. Right, so if you watch carefully, you can see all those white spots there. Alright, so if you can see all those black spots kind of hard alright so this cable this red cable if you watch carefully you see black Right, so there is smoke. All is black. So there is smoke, right? So the thing with this is that um, is that the circuit board catch a fire, and if you watch carefully. You can see by the fuse. You can see the fuse black. And if you could see on this side, on your side burn, it melt. And it have a capacitor. This new model have a capacitor. Alright, so I right, so this is a capacitor. The older model do not, do not have a capacitor outside. And this new model it have a sensor right here too. The older model do not have a sensor. Well an electric center an electric center on this side at the cavity all right so all the capacitors and things will be inside here Let's see if i get some light all right so the thing is that um the circuit board and this inverter microwave is this burn sometimes it burn out sometimes it burn and catch a fire you know that's how it is sometimes so it's not a good thing to have. The best thing is to have is a normal microwave. This inverter microwave, it ain't so good. It don't last long. Now the circuit in this site. Right? Normally, them them microwave will normally have a, um, a transformer. Alright, so this is transformer. Now this transformer will be right here. The transfer might be right by the circuit board. So, what I do now, they replace the circuit board. I mean, they replace the transformer with a circuit board. I don't know why, but I prefer the transformer because the transformer doesn't really burn, it will catch a fire, the microwave will last longer. But with circuit board, it will last long, it does burn, it does catch a fire. But the best thing with circuit board is that our circuit board is cook the food real good. The inverter microwave is giving a good results in putting food on thing. It it work much better than a microwave with a transformer. But last it will last long. The first thing to go bad in a 
Panasonic in with a microwave is a circuit board. So it's not, a, it's not a good investment. The better investment is to buy a normal microwave with a transformer. Alright, so in this case now, this circuit board, how it go on, to fix this microwave, it will you will have to get a circuit board and a circuit board. I don't have enough lights here. So the circuit board now. Alright, much better. So the circuit board, the place a circuit board is probably costing about probably after more than 800 until less than 800 for a circuit board to replace this for this to work you need a circuit board all right so and a new microwave it costs well a new microwave like, th like this a new microwave like this probably costs about about 12 13 1400 i'm not sure it could be more it could be less i'm not sure so the best thing to do is either buy a new microwave or locate a circuit board or the better thing is to buy a normal microwave. You pay less, a normal microwave probably about 800, or at the most less, not sure. Right, so there's nothing I can do. I cannot repair this because I have a circuit board. Alright, so that is about it. As always, don't forget to subscribe, share, like, leave a comment below. Click on the um, icon bell for update on videos. Until next time, Mr. Fixit360 saying good luck with all your peers.